Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. But this is where you work. But to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? They did what they had to do to save me. And in a way, I can do more now than I ever could. I'm glad to know you take it so well. Many of us wouldn't be able to cope so easily with such traumatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. I can see why she loved you. Not even that degree of mechanical modification could change what she saw in you. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. I don't really have anything against it. I just think it's disgusting. I mean, grafting metal into your skin. Well, shit, if it ain't the captain himself, Mr. Seraph done fixed you. How you doing? Did people tend to under... How about you give me some information, and then we'll see. Oh, damn, cap. Because it... Yeah. I might need to do a little... Trespassing soon. Maybe get inside some places where I'd rather not be seen going in. You being kind of vague, Cap, but maybe it's best I don't know the Pacifics. You got that right. What I do know, though, is that most people tend to look down, not up. And even when looking down, they don't necessarily think about what's under their feet. If a person ain't too squ Interesting thing about the sewers in the city, Captain. Some of them... What kind of thing? As not... I think I've got all the information I need right now, Tish. Maybe next time. 
I'll be right here waiting for you, Captain. Protests. These limb people are drug pushers. Someone is getting rich while the rest of us are suffering. I wouldn't know about it. Ah, Mr. Jensen. David Serov told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doug. Shouldn't I be under opposing shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrode seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Seraph did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro-enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take a look. Dr. LeBlanc, code blue. Dr. LeBlanc, code blue. Very well, Mr. Jensen. Use it in good health. Protesting is not against the law. I know that, officer. But some of those... Adam? Yeah, I just spoke to Vera Markovic. You aren't getting any Praxis kits installed? All you said to do was see the doctor. I did that. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm just surprised you didn't take advantage of the account I set up for you. But no matter. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance in the side of the building. Grayson hooked me up with some real tight merch. Those art lovers get in my face now, I'm ready to pop. Grayson? Where he at these days? Yo, where you been, man? He been running shit through that abandoned gas station for weeks. Oh, word? I wanted to get some upgrades for my Zenith. Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in the prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. 
There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this... This was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions, and every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up. Maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, well, while you're there... There was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay. I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily, but I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. His office is on the third floor. He might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah. When the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please. Don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. That's all I need for now. So hot. You're crazy. Niashia Akeem is what? Nice jacket. Is that a high man? In leather? You're crazy. Niashia Akeem is way prettier. But Eliza has intelligence, and I love how she dresses. So cool. Intelligence? She just says what Pike is tells her to do. Purity first to freedom fighters. Not yet. 